Well, you just got to go to the resources where you've got them. Play action. Hendricks goes up top on his first attempt. It's caught at the 45 of Buffalo. A big gainer to David Frazier. Pretty much taking lead off where he lived from last week against the Cincinnati Bengals. As you see, Hendricks throws it up, and Frazier makes a nice adjustment to the football. Territory, the Red Hawks with their second play from scrimmage. And again, play action. Hendricks under pressure this time. Eludes it. Tucks it and runs. Inside the 40. Nice move to the 30. Down to the 20. And pushed out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Excellent run right there by Andrew Hendricks. You see right here, there's nothing there to throw down a football field. Good credit to the Bulls. Secondary, but right there, that move. Nice move by Hendricks. As we said before, Hendricks can beat you with his legs as well as his arm. And that was a four. Lob it up. Corner of the end zone. It's caught, but out of bounds. And Alex Welch here at the end of this play doesn't have his feet. Obviously, he's out of bounds, but there's another one of those Notre Dame transfers. Make the play on field. Sam Martin, to be exact. Guinness in the backfield with Hendricks, who rolls right, throws, diving, catch, touchdown, Red Hawks. And Alex Hendricks runs, throws out the pass, gives him a chance to move. And as you see right here, Alex is just moving out of the pocket, giving him a chance to just survey the football field. He delivers a strike to his right receiver. Four-yard line. Play action, rolling right, Hendricks, and he throws it away. So the Red Hawks offense back onto the field. Hendricks, plenty of time to throw, puts it up, and overshoots his intended receiver. It has immediately had a huge impact on this Red Hawks offense. Pass deflected, flag thrown. David Frazier. Battling along with Courtney Lester on his own, as you see right there, he's clearly out of bounds. Hence, why the referee throws a flag. Side judge, great job of wide receiver at this point in the stage of the season. He is, he's the reigning Mac East Player of the Week off of his performance against Cincinnati. Near interception. Whitney Sherry couldn't hang on, but does a nice job to step into the passing lane. Assistant D2 head coach and D1 assistant coach at Notre Dame last year. So he knows about winning football in this uh, Miami program. This program, so look for them to be a major power in the MAC once again. And Rod, they were 29-point underdogs last week at Cincinnati and gave the Bearcats all they could handle, losing 31-24 at Paul Brown Stadium. Pass completed the 22. Still on his feet. That's a Miami first down out to the 37-yard line. Are a program in the MAC, and you get a player who gets drafted fifth overall in the NFL. That helps you with recruiting. That helps you with selling your program, selling your brand, and Khalil Mack to fill his production this year. Yeah, excellent hit there on Welch. This is exactly what you taught to do as a receiver is extended. With them get going. So hot far here this afternoon. Hendricks up top again. Pass incomplete. When you had a program record eight wins, you can do that again if you have a real good Matt season. Once again on the coverage, Courtney Lester. He has gotten this phase of his career off to a good start. Hendricks hit from behind, never saw him coming. Off the edge, Carell Threets. And Threets does an excellent job of beating the pass block and Ryan Smith. You have to do a better job of protecting your quarterback. But those numbers will continue to pour to the part of Hendrick if you do not. Line Gerard is their worst starting position of the afternoon. Hendricks has the snap go through his legs and he smartly just falls on it on the 11-yard line. So a loss of eight. Scott wide left. Hendricks with a screen. It's caught. Tackle broken by McGinnis, still on his feet, across the 30 for a first down. That 
play seemed to take about three minutes. Yeah, that play shows you that McGinnis, Spencer McGinnis wanted more than anybody on the Buffalo Bulls wanted to tackle him. Give Spencer credit and nice play calling as well on the part of the Red Hawks in that you have aggressive defensive line coming at you. But watch this effort by Spencer McGinnis. He doesn't want to go down. He refuses to go down. He knows where the first down yard marker is at, and he got there. Very important. Hendricks looking that way. Frazier, brother Scott, and they say it's an incomplete pass. Ball hit the ground. Miami and Buffalo, the Bulls blew them out 44-7. That was last November. Nice looking catch. Near a first down. Calling that we saw from Miami in the first half. You think that maybe they'd seen something on tape they were trying to exploit. And now they have adjusted when they couldn't exploit that. That's that before. Exactly. That's exactly what it was, Doug. In that they saw something on tape. Hey, these guys can get beat for big plays. See right here, Frazier keeps his composure. Another great job by the receiver, Frazier, making a positive play from deeper passes. Facing which way they're facing him to the end zone. Off play action, Hendricks finds the open man. It's Frazier. Big gainer for the Red Hawks and deep into Buffalo territory. There's a glare. So do the smart and prudent thing, which is work to the right side of the football field, defensive left. Hendrick delivers a patch. Now they pitch to the sunny side. It's Scott across the 30. Brought down at the 27 yard line. But again, as we heard from. Uh oh. Just got to continue getting the football into his hands, but now that Scott is sidelined, and if indeed he doesn't come back, if you're Miami, where do you go? Well, where you go is right there for a touchdown. Hendricks puts Miami on top. Jared Murphy. He described a young man earlier as being reminiscent of Steve Largent. And once again, an acrobatic play, which you go back into the 80s, Steve Largent was known for making. And Jared shows you that he has skills and the capability. And nice throw by Hendrick, put it in the corner where only his player could make a play on the play. Nice pass and catch. Great job right there by Jared Murphy. And here you see again, Jared Murphy bobbles the football, but eventually comes under control. He's a QB. So Coach Martin's QB, Andrew Hendricks, back on the field off of a perfect drive to begin this third quarter. Incomplete. Going for the downs once again. Frazier and Williams, the receivers to the left. Hendricks looks that way, floats it up again. Incomplete. Senior from Cincinnati out of Moeller High School. Throws it down the right sideline for Frazier. First down, Miami. <laughs> We've seen a couple of big hits here this afternoon. One delivered by the offense, the other delivered by the defense. Big play in this football game. Hendricks down the middle for a first down, and then some. It's a Red Hawks touchdown. Alex Welch puts Miami back on top. What you like about this play, heck, love, is the fact that Hendrick and Welch give credit to this offensive line as well. But no one around Welch in the middle of the football field, and that's a no-no of no-nos. You have to protect the integrity of the middle of the football field. If you don't, plays like this will occur. And then Welch wants to get to that end zone, Man. fights for it, and he gets there. By a point. Hendricks, a design run, tucks it, and he gets stopped. Stood up at the one-yard line, so the Buffalo defense protects. Rushing to a week more patient. That was just easy read on the part of the linebackers. He's running the football. Sell the pass more, and then you have a better chance of having some success with that play. By poorly selling the manner and fashion in which he did, results in no scores being scored at all. 25-yard line. Hendricks backpedaling, throws. Dangerous pass, nearly intercepted by Courtney Lester this year no Bulls defensive player has picked off a pass this year no they have not and Courtney does an excellent job of breaking on the football in front. Hendricks under heavy pressure just has to throw it away so UB's defense makes a big stand and have succeeded 
It's interesting that both sides started chasing those points so early in the football game. Hendricks' pass broken up by Lester. Buffalo quarterback Lakata has been extremely efficient. His numbers are remarkable. Incomplete. Lakata is 13 of 14. Over the middle to his tight end. It's caught at the 45. And into Buffalo territory, Alex Welch. Yeah, very similar to a play that we saw for a touchdown score in which you have Alex Welch streaking down the street, sleep team. And you hear Hendricks, clear pocket, clean pocket, throws a strike to his tight end. The other Notre Dame transfer, Alex Welch. Well, that's a tough assignment for you. Lofts it down the right sideline. Frazier adjusts. And they say incomplete, out of bounds. Right. He felt it was Williams number six, not Frazier number nine. Yeah, Rokeem has to do a better job of control. Third and nine. Hendricks all sorts of time. Fires it left side, but low and incomplete. And that'll bring on the Miami punting unit. They're going to be in a tough spot. Fourth and nine. Hendricks. Lobs it up. It's a jump ball. There was a handful of jersey, and there's the flag. Very clearly from where we stand, Courtney Lester grabbed the receiver's jersey. Frazier had no chance to get off the ground. Sneaky with the, and Lester was nothing of that nature. See right here, he's got jersey, handful of jersey. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. There it is right there. Automatic first down. He's dragging him, and he held it for a long time. Yeah. Shot closing on that pass this time without being caught grabbing some jerseys. Hawk Lester, who's got nine career interceptions, been close a couple of times here today. Screen set up, couldn't get the football though to Spencer McGinnis. 434 remaining in the fourth quarter. Hendricks, we've got a flag in the backfield. Holding. Going for it on fourth and 15. Into the end zone. Williams can't come down with it. And the Buffalo defense holds. Yeah, when you throw a pass like this, it has to be a dart. If you allow it to linger in the air, the defensive back is going to make a play. He's on a scholarship for a reason. Hendricks up top. A lot of contact. Again, it's for that matchup with Frazier trying to free himself from Courtney Lester. Well, other than that one pass interference penalty, Lester's done a terrific job. Here we go again, those two battling down the right boundary, and it falls untouched. The Mac, that bowling green mass scores a perfect example of that. Well, as an example, Bowling Green was picked.